Hello everyone, it's Peter here, Piotr Fitzner. How are we doing, guys? Oh, I didn't switch off the uh, microscope. Let me quickly switch it off because I was starting to do PS5 for the customer and <laughs> actually I can't because I receive an email. And I want to show you this email, but let me get prepared first. So I'll show you exactly what I've noticed, how it came, and I don't know what to expect. So let's find out together. So it's your turn to try Bard. Uh, welcome to Bard. You, your creative and helpful collaborator, collaborator here to supercharge your imagination, boost your productivity, and bringing your ideas to your ideas to life. Your feedback help Bard improve its responses. Take it for a spin. So I did that, I did get this, uh, I'll close the other one. Um, so da 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 da, things to know. Yeah, oh, everyone ag uh, agreed that it's it's red and it's fine, yes. So we can, we can all read it. Uh, everybody's happy, your data and barred, Google terms of privacy above, so it's okay. Uh, don't see, oh, here, yes, so that's, see that it's slightly too big so we can't see everything I'll correct it so that you can see full page and I agree of course okay so BARD is an experiment as you try BARD please remi remember BARD will not always get it right BARD may give inaccurate and inappropriate responses when in doubt use the google it button and check BARD's responses Bard will get better with your feedback. Please rate responses and flag anything that may be offensive or unsafe. Why? I like offensive. <laughs> okay, but for real, yeah. What I want to say is Bard is like chat GPT only. I think it's connected live to the internet. So uh, let's put hello. And we will see what will reply, if we'll reply anything. Hello, how can I help you? Okay, good fine that's brilliant let's do it and let's put what's the newest laravel on the market what's the newest laravel on the market <clears throat> we will see because we've got 10 uh, released so you know we will see that that will be named oh okay look that's it's talking to us the newest laravel on the market is laravel 10 which is released on the february 14th 2023 uh, which we've got a day of the recording 25th of march 2023 <laughs> so um so i can say love it yes love it because uh, now okay um so let's let's follow that route uh, i know people don't know laravel and so on but it it doesn't matter what i want to say is just try let's try how to set up a a route in laravel 10. so maybe it will tell us because we couldn't do it with chat gpt it was only limited to the laravel 9 because of the data let's say um yes data problem so data was only for the last year or something to set up a route in laravel 10 you can use the following steps create a new route file in your routes directory a new route file in the route directory <laughs> define the routes path and controller well that's that's a that's wrong that's wrong um uh, if you will if you will do it yes uh, road file in the roads directory you need to register um, a road service provider if you won't do it it won't work here is an example of road file roads yes that's the folder correct but web PHP is the default one so you can create within that file this road and that will work and um, this road will map the exactly here is an example exactly that's fine the controller will exactly that that's everything that is correct and here is unsafe um, and we can put define the route path and uh, create a new route file in the roads directory uh, here we can put if you create a new file you need to spec 
passive file it in the app providers road service this provider uh, dot php file or it won't work this answer is wrong so you see i won't be doing those examples more but you can see that those answers are wrong i'm not able to help with coding just yet but i can do things like answer other complex questions help you learn new skills all right uh, okay how to calculate how to calculate a h of high frequency transformer for my application okay <laughs> why not you know like it's an answer on google so i do believe that it's possible to answer that question yes um okay there are a few things you need to consider when calculating a high frequency so it knew that i'm talking about high frequency transformer for your application this is their output voltage and current the input voltage and current the frequency of the input signal the their efficiency the their size and weight okay once you have considered these factors you can use a transformer calculator to determine and require uh, require specifications for your transformer here are some tips on how to choose the right transformer for your application make sure the transformer has the required output voltage and current choose a transformer with a high efficiency rating select the transformer with a desired frequency rate consider the size and weight of the transformer it is important to consult with a transformer manufacturer to get the best possible advice to your specific application there are different types of high frequency transformers so there is a, a with a ferrite in the center of the core you know and so on so it it doesn't cover it perfectly but it 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 did get to the point that it's it's acceptable you know it's it's not 100 percent answer but it's good okay so maybe different topic and we had a uh, coding we had electronics okay how to make uh, an LED blink LED on on pin let's say 14 a uh, blink each second on Arduino you know oh oh I didn't put the question mark yes so that's programming and and electronics all in one yes uh, sure here is a simple code that will make a led on pin 14 blink each second on an arduino uno uh, so that's initialize led pin 14 void pin void and then it's a loop digital good okay okay brilliant yes this code used digital write function to turn on the led on off function with exactly uh, and sources you see even so we get a source i would say awesome yes awesome that's okay and that's awesome uh, that's good enough you know to start because you need to expand these questions so we had programming we had a uh, web development we had electronics what else we want to do okay uh, are there any better batteries than uh, li ion ones on the market i'm cu curious how it will answer that because uh, you know it's different applications for different batteries yes so <laughs> uh, oh there are a few emerging technologies that could potentially surpass lithium ion, uh, ion batteries so it knew i've put li ion and it knew that's good batteries in the future uh, these include sodium ion batteries magnesium and iron batteries sodium is a much more abundant element that's good yes and sodium ion batteries have a potential to be cheaper and more sustainable however they currently have lower energy density than lithium ion magnesium is another abundant ma uh, element and potential to be used better magnesium batteries have higher density than lithium ion, but they are also more expensive 
Iron batteries is very common element. Iron batteries are cheapest and the most abundant type of battery. However, they have the lowest energy density. Okay, uh, it is important to know that these batteries are still in the early stages of development and it's not yet clear whether they will be able to surpass lithium ion batteries in the long term. And okay, and what about Li Fe PO4 batteries? That's a relevant question to the question we had just before, and uh, it, it's not mentioned, so you know, I'm curious. Batteries are a type of lithium ion battery that uses iron phosphate as a cathode material. They have several advantages over the types of lithium ion batteries, including. So it knew that uh, we had that conversation about lithium ion, yes. So it's a it's a good answer. Safety battery are less likely to catch fire or explode than other types of lithium ion battery. Cycle life have longer cycles, of course, as we know. Temperature tolerance batteries are more tolerant of extreme temperatures than other types of lithium ion batteries. But uh, these batteries are a good choice for applications where safety, cycle, and temperature tolerance are important. They are often used in electric vehicles, solar storage systems, and other high demanding uh, so so l i f e p o 4 battery batteries are potentially better than l i ion ones yes yeah, so that's a question you know why mm, maybe yes batteries have some uh, some advantages over ally iron ones. They are safer, high blah, blah blah blah. However, they are also more expensive than lion. So it's it, it it's answering in a smart way. The choice the choice of which type of batteries use depends on the specific oh finally, finally, you see now finally it talks like more as I would expect it. It's safety cycle life and temperature tolerance are important then my batteries are good choice yes if cost is a major factor then batteries may be better option brilliant okay so it took us um, you know i did want to see how it will reply in the sequences yes uh, but i i'm happy with the answer yes of course you see it's not uh, stupid proof yes you need to you need to understand something to to get the reply that's how i see it yes but i'm i'm happy with the answer to be true i, I know it's not uh, perfect i know it can still have some issues reset chat barred activity faq hotline support okay so that's it that's my google yeah that's that's my google okay cool and so that's bar the google uh, dot com address guys i don't know what you want to ask if you wanted to ask anything um or have a, some have some life and i can you know ask it questions then of course i'm happy to do so so comment down below and uh, it's 13 minutes recording i don't oh uh, i don't it's it's everything what i want to ask is electronics so maybe Maybe are there any good recipes on uh, of cakes from the sixties? <laughs> you know, like completely different off topic. Like why why not? Yes. Oh, it's taking longer to answer. Have you noticed that? Is uh, yes, there are many delicious cake recipes from the 60s. Here are a few examples. Hummingbird cake, chocolate band cake, angel food cake, devil's food cake, yellow <laughs> cake with chocolate frosting. There are just a few. These are from just a few examples. Many delicious cake recipes from the 60s. There are many other recipes available online in and in cookbooks. <laughs> hey, you see, it's, it's, it's okay. Um, what what origin uh origin water or yeah, in the other way what countries those recipes comes from yes 
you know, like, is it all from US or UK or whatever, Australia? Um, American cakes, the hummingbird, the chocolate bun cake and the angel fruit cake are all American cakes. The digital fruit cake is a German cake and the yellow cake and chocolate frozen is a British cake. Okay, thank you. You see, it's, um, <laughs> it's, it's quite interesting. So it, it, the, the good thing is that one, it's comparing to the chat GPT, one, it is a, uh, it is relevant to the date we are at so you know it it has like a laravel 10 yes okay um so it's it's up to date you can say because it's using google searches and then the second thing you know is that uh, it, it can follow up with a conversation like chat gpt can so i would say it's a better option in in many ways than chat gpt but that's my opinion okay so I'm curious what you think about it and again if you've got any questions leave them down below um, it's it's you know like we can compare as well like um, what is the newest uh, PHP okay so we can we can see the newest PHP oh yeah 8.2 November 2022 very good and now if and if we will google it we will have it yes search related topics newest PHP version yes you see November 24 2022 so guys I don't know how you but a uh, but I'm happy because that's up to date uh, okay, so that's it in this video. I don't want to make it too long. Uh, I got a million of questions which I would ask it, but I need to go back to my PS5 to repair. I mean, customers' PS5 to repair it. And so I don't want to drag this video as well for too long. If you like this video, or you know, you could just leave us some likes buttons. Here's likes buttons to use. That's it, yes, it's my turn to try bar, but no time for now. I will think of some questions which we could ask it. Mm. I know one more from repairs, let me switch to it. Okay, so uh, what are the main voltages used on the main board? of the laptop okay maybe 90 will show or no or it's the USB-C oh 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 oh, oh. Uh, the main voltage on the laptop motherboard are 3.3 volt agree and not don't agree 5 volts and 12 volts 3.3 volt is used to power the CPU and other components 5 volts is another power USB ports keyboard and other peripherals 12 volt and um, 12 volts is used to power uh, power supply and other components uh, to power the power supply what no no that's a wrong answer um, to, to use to power the power supply and other component and what about 19 volts yes you see it's then it's used to charge the laptop battery the laptop battery is made of is it, no <laughs> no uh, no uh, these these are wrong answers and if you know f how to repair of course a laptop you know that on the uh, i i won't uh, click like on this uh, the 19 volts are coming then yes there there is a back converter which does the uh, transform the 19 volts into the 3.3 volts which is needed as a standby volt then to power the main IC ICU uh, the main um, chip which is then controlling the rest in some of the cases you've got two chips so uh, sometimes uh, before the BIOS will open or start there is an, an additional chip to it yes so it's it's not an accurate answer this answer is is unfo unfortunately you know to be corrected 
if you would like to learn from it fixing electronics as you see you might get a problem the 3.3 volt is used to power CPU and electronics. yes but the major feature of it I would say is a standby voltage yes so without it if you've got 19 volts and you don't have 3.3 volts guess what this laptop will never power up you might have even 5 volts but it will never power up because you don't have 3.3 volt and 12 volts is used to power the power so let's see power supply supplying the voltage yes now if you get a USB uh, C connector you can get up to 19 volts on that one uh, so it's it's not a problem at all. I think 15 or something so at, at the end of the day this is not accurate you, you don't power the power supply the power supply supply the laptop and then there are small power supplies with coils oh, like we've got on the PS5 here yes so each time we see those those coils they are small power supplies here so you know that the answer is wrong uh, but what can you do it's a start of the technology let's wait 10 years and then we can talk yes we just had poor batteries poor really poor I'm, uh, lags poor batteries and because of all the evs now these batteries start to develop quicker so you know maybe the same will be with chat gpt and with a bard with the bard uh, after a decade yes because we i would say in that decade we can achieve a lot as a human race so guys that's it in this video if you did like here's again likes to use see you in the next video and again if you want to ask it some questions because it's my turn to test bard go for it leave a comment down below i'll record more episodes about bard but that's it thank you and see you in the next one bye bye